Virat, London has been very good to you on this tour to last day victories that, that I think will go down as amongst the best that your country has produced. Well, um, I think um, the best thing about both the wins has been the character that, that the side has shown. I think if you look at how the game panned out, um, you mentioned a 100 run lead that England had in the first innings. Uh, to come back from there and the way we batted in the second innings um, showed that you know we're not down and out um, and we're not looking to survive in this game. If there's an opportunity to put the opposition under pressure, we will go for it. Um, and we put up a total on the board which is always going to be very difficult to chase, especially heading into day four, later half of day four and day five as well. But yeah, look, I'm, I'm, as I said at Lords as well, I'm, I'm really proud of the, the character the team has shown, especially this morning, the way we bowled. I think it's definitely amongst the top three bowling performances that I've witnessed as Indian captain. You had plenty of runs to play with today. Were you always confident that you had the tools to get 10 wickets on what was a very flat pitch? Well, it's, it's quite relative what you call flat, you know, we, because the last two days conditions have been really hot. So the field wasn't that, that wet like the first three days. And we knew we were in with an opportunity with Jadeja bowling from one end into the rough. The ball got scuffed up quite nicely and then we, ma we managed to, you know, make one side heavier. And our guys, when the ball's reversing enough, they become much more lethal and, you know, we exploited reverse swing perfectly today. And we were actually looking forward to the opportunity of bowling with the old ball. And we looked at that as a positive rather than thinking, look, nothing's happening from the pitch. What are we going to do here? Rather than, then, rather than that, we believed as a team that, yes, we could get all 10 wickets today. And that's exactly why it happened, because the boys had belief. Right at the heart of that was, of course, Jasper Boomer, who bowled an outstanding six-over spell after lunch. Yeah, absolutely unbelievable spell. I mean, if you give 27 runs of 22 overs on this kind of pitch, I think it's, that's, that's a, a huge effort in the last innings of, of a test match where, as you said, the pitch hasn't offered enough. But, you know, as soon as the ball uh, started reversing a bit, Jaspreet just said, just give me the ball. And he bowled that six-over spell, as you mentioned, and got us two breakthroughs, which completely shifted the momentum to our side. And from there on, we knew any, any more mistakes from England and, and we'll be all over this game. Um, Rohit is waiting to our left, but I wanted to perhaps reference the performance of another man who might not get uh, the kind of accolades because he's not picking up the man of the match, but Shadul Thakur's <laughs> influence on this game was significant. Well, um, I think you, you, you pointed out a performance that, you know, Rohit Sinning was outstanding. We all saw that. I mean, playing against a 100-run lead, as I said, as an opener, the conditions were overcast and his knock was the difference in the second innings. But if you look at, you know, the impact performance we were looking from um, a lower middle order point of view, I think what Shardul has done in this game has to be remembered for a long time because even in the first innings he stood up and his 50 was actually the difference between a 150-160 lead and a 100 run lead and his 60 in the second innings as well, a counter-attacking one. I felt like it deflated the opposition where when I got out in the morning they were looking at a few more breakthroughs and, and probably try to, you know, uh, um, uh, restrict us to a, a reasonable total but I think the way he batted again in the setting, second innings was outstanding. And therefore, lots of chat about India's team selection and the absence of a second spinner. Do you feel his performance absolutely vindicated that selection? <laughs> well, look, we, we never go uh, towards analysis and statistics and numbers. I think people have got jobs to do. You know, they have to focus on a few certain things. Within the group, in the change room, we, we know what we focus on. And then we take a collective call as to what feels like the best uh, combination for us to walk on the field with. And whatever feels best balanced, we just go ahead and we believe that we can win test matches with that bowling lineup or that batting lineup as well. So, whatever the noise on the outside, we don't really bother with that. We just have belief in our group and that's carrying us forward. Um, a final word, R Ravi Shastri, of course, the coach, and one or two of the staff not here, absent, probably watching on television right now, a word for them. Yeah, look, I mean, it's, it's unfortunate they're not here, uh, but they did call the team just now. Everyone's very happy, obviously, with the win. Also, we get ahead in the series with one test match to play. Um, it's, it's absolutely a great momentum booster because we've been here for a long time and now this gives us even more motivation to go out there and, you know, try and win the next one as well. Um, we, we have everything that we need to win. Uh, we have the belief, we have the team. Even though we rested a couple of our bowlers, we still stood up and, you know, guys did the job with ball and, and bat in hand and in the field as well. So we're just, we just looking forward to opportunities, um, you know, of, of stepping onto the field and playing for India and being proud about it. We're looking forward to Manchester as well. Thank you for your time. Thank you. The fans have been amazing as well. Thank you so much, guys.